How's it going, beer fans? Today we're going to be setting up our driver profile and we're going to give you some reasons on why you must set it up. If this is your first time on Beam Review, what we do here is showcase all the latest BMWs. We also do some really cool hidden tips and tricks. And so definitely subscribe to the channel if this is your first time viewing this YouTube channel. So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be setting up a driver profile. Before we get started guys, I really wanted to mention these really two cool BMW key fob covers. I did see them on Amazon. And if you guys were interested, the link for these two are right down below. So definitely check that out at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's go and get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so setting up your driver profile and I'll actually show you guys how to do the setup first. And then, and then as soon as the setup's done, definitely stay tuned if you're not sure why you need a driver's profile, but I will tell you 100% that you have to have one. So if you're not sure whether or not you should have one or not, Definitely stay tuned till the end of the video. But for the first part of this video, we're gonna go ahead and, and set up our driver profile. So ladies and gentlemen, there are a few different ways that you can set up the driver profile, but the steps that I'm gonna be telling you or showing you are gonna be the easiest way to do it. Now, for step number one, we do have to make sure that our My BMW app is already set up. That is step number one. And if you already have not set up the app yet, definitely go ahead and set up your app first to make life a lot more easier whenever you're trying to set up your driver profile. And now the vehicle that we're sitting in today is a 2023 BMW X5. And the 2023 BMW X5 does still currently have the iDrive 7. And so yes, iDrive 7 is what we're gonna use to set up our driver profile. So ladies and gentlemen, after the app is all set, we're looking at our home screen here and you're just gonna scroll down to where it says car. And then you're gonna go ahead and select that. And then after you're in this screen, just scroll down down to where it says driver profiles and then and then after you click on that you're gonna get a screen that looks like this and this is the default setting but let me tell you that you do not want to set up your car and guest and as mentioned before definitely stay tuned until the end of the video to know why super simple ladies and gentlemen on the bottom right side we do we do have add driver profile so go ahead and select that and then once we're into this screen now, as you can see here, you can actually go ahead and log in using your account credentials by hitting this login right here. But the reason why I had you download the app first is so that you can just go ahead and select via my BMW app. So we're gonna go ahead and go into that. Next up, the vehicle just generated a QR code for us. And now literally, all we have to do is go into our camera settings on our phone and then go ahead and do a scan on that something yellow on the screen will pop up and then that is what you're gonna select. Then ladies and gentlemen, if you have already configured your settings and your seating, what you could do at this portion of the step is go ahead and transfer your current settings so you don't lose that. After you do that, go ahead and hit continue. And then as you can see, our driver profile now is being set up. I'm gonna raise the camera just a little bit so you guys can see better. And then at this point, we're going to synchronize our driver profile and just hit continue. And now at this part, ladies and gentlemen, one really cool feature that the BMW driver profile can do is that your key fob, your smart key fob, I should say, can actually remember driver profiles as well. So what we're going to do for this driver profile, we're going to make it linked to our vehicle key. So I'm going to check off vehicle key. And then after that, I'm going to hit continue. And then at this point, you can actually set up yourself a four digit pin. But if you're going to be the only person driving the vehicle, just go ahead and hit continue. And then as you can see here, the name that you have set up on your My BMW app will actually pop up here. And then right for that, go ahead and hit get started. And then now, as you can see, our driver profile is already set up. Now, by default, if this is your first time making a driver profile, you might not see this picture right over here. So what you wanna do is just go into where it says avatar. And then once you go into that, you can actually select whichever picture you desire. But as you can see, our driver profile is all set up. And now whatever settings we have saved within the vehicle or we decide to save, will save to your profile. And that is how you set up a driver profile. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, why do I need to set up a driver profile? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are plenty of reasons why. And I'm literally just gonna give you guys all the reasons why on why you need to set this up. It is absolutely the first thing that you need to do right after you download the app and set up your app to your vehicle too. If you guys need a video on how to set up the app as well, 
please let me know in the comment box down below. There's many different settings that the profile can remember and literally just going from left to right are things like your seating assignment, your side mirrors, and then if you have a powered steering, it'll actually remember your steering, your steering wheel height as well. So it'll remember that. Also going into the speedometer that you see right over here, if I were to hit this BC button, whatever menu we have selected on the right there, the one that's changing, the, your driver profile will also remember that. And one of the really good ones that I like as well too, this vehicle actually has a head up display, which is that guy right over there and i know that's kind of hard to see your driver profile will actually remember the, the height of your head up display as well which is huge especially if you're going to be switching out drivers with somebody else and then if we were to go ahead and move to the right side every single setting configuration within the iDrive system say for example if you had customized widgets here too your driver profile will actually remember every single setting within the vehicle that was set to you and it'll never forget it also, if you see this little green guy right here, we have plenty of safety features that you see right inside here. If you were to go into configure, your driver profile will also remember your safety setting configurations as well. And one of the really crucial ones as well, as you can see, BMW does have the memory keys right down here. Your driver profile will remember every single setting that you have to set up to. And those are just few of the reasons why you should definitely set up a, a driver profile. Oh, and then before I forget, it will remember whatever interior lighting color you have selected for yourself. And yes, those are some of the reasons why you need to set up a driver profile. Now, one of the really big ones as well on why you need to set this up is because of the fact that let's just say, for example, your BMW service team had to do a full restart factory setting within the vehicle. Well, the really big benefit of setting up a driver profile is, is the fact that it is saved in the cloud. So for whatever reason, if you were to lose every single setting within the vehicle, all you would have to do is literally just log back into your profile. And just like that, all, all your settings would come back to life. And just to put the icing on top, if, if your family does have multiple BMWs, your profile settings will sync to each and every BMW as well. And let's just say, for example, if you're the type to lease a BMW, whenever you go into your next lease, all you have to do is log back into your profile and your same settings that were in your previous BMW would automatically go ahead and link up to your brand new one. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you do have to set up a driver profile and I would strongly, strongly recommend it. Whenever you do do it, again, as mentioned, it will save to your key. So whichever, so definitely make make sure you don't switch keys with whoever else. Just hold on to your key because the driver profile will be stored on that and it'll just make your life a lot more easier. Hope this video helped you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, please write those down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you do need a video on how to set up the app, definitely let me know down in the comment box below. But as mentioned before, set up the app first and then set up your profile. And then right after your profile is done, you can actually go ahead and connect your Bluetooth. Hope you guys have a great day and stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe.